Hey there, sorry that anybody's here calling. I am here to plan for the 8th through the 14th of April, y'all. It's uh, it's Wednesday. My dad's been in the hospital since Saturday, and I'm absolutely fried. Um, I I feel positively lit on fire. Um, I'm tired. I had originally laid down the Sweet Kawaii Design crafting kit, but mercifully, she um, uses that removable matte sticker paper, so I was able to pull it all up to reuse again. I think I lost like three stickers I had written on and then the date numbers that I hopefully can pull up. I didn't finish last week either. So this is not going to be like a happy plan with me because I am not happy. I am, I am so tired and I'm so burnt out. Um, I don't have words for how absolutely just exhausted I am. So I'm basically been at the hospital this whole time and will continue to be into the weekend. So I, was going to use a different space kit because I'm feeling like very dark. Like I am not in, like mentally in a good place, but the kit that I had originally thought to use didn't have enough boxes and I cannot fathom digging through my stash for this spread because I don't have it in me. I don't want to be creative. So Little Red Prince thankfully had this kit. It's still space themed because we had that eclipse, plenty of boxes, so I don't have to go search for anything. I'm just going to go with what's here. I have two washies. I have this stained glass washi from Simply Gilded. And I have this black with like uh, white bows. Or maybe they're transparent so you can see the paper underneath. I don't really know how she did it. But um, I thought this was nice. Because it gives like stained glass church vibes. And we're definitely in the like keep everyone in your thoughts sort of thing. So what I thought I would do. Because I had already written in the planner a little bit. And had to wipe some stuff out. Is... Uh, sorry y'all. I am, I am fried. I am so tired. I am so, so, so tired. Um, Chris sent me a Starbucks gift card and quite frankly, I feel like that's the only thing keeping me going. Oh gosh. Okay. There it goes. Um, so like hats off to her. Amazing. Um, so I don't know what I was saying about what the plan was because now I don't know what the plan was. I'm going to lay down stickers. I figured I'll watch this video, like I'll upload it and see if it's something that people may want to listen to because I feel like most of my videos like are just, I'm an upbeat person. I don't get down too terribly often. I have really bad anxiety, but like, like a depresso episode, it's not really, um, that's not really what my brain does, but I am, I am definitely there. I am, I am tired and we're into uh, some possibilities that are um, upsetting to say the least we're not there yet you know nobody's called and said the you know any particular word but I guess you guys can probably guess where the possibilities are headed and it's really overwhelming my sister's in New Zealand and my mom has been um working on her craft fair so you know it's been it's been me and Kevin but he also has to work so it's just been a lot and I'm grateful but I'm also absolutely exhausted I will say this, how it all started was, uh, sorry, forgive me if like I just kind of go off. I don't mean to. I'm just, <laughs> y'all, I'm beat up. Um, I thought it'd be cool to do down here like a highlight because I want to write something good that happened that day, be it like um, Kevin being incredible, you know, having a chat with my best friend who helped, you know, kind of get my head on straight or um, good news from the doctor or something, you know, just something to kind of make me feel better about the situation because it kind of sucks just a little bit. Do I need that much space or am I just being like, I don't feel like that's realistic because that, and that sounds terrible, but I don't feel like I have that much happy things to say right now. So maybe we're just looking at like these little low down sort of highlight situation, but Anyway, what happened was my dad called me Saturday and he was like, I have a leak in um, my laundry room, my laundry room, excuse me. And you know, it's Saturday, I had plans to be at home all day and I'm not proud, but I was like, dang it, like, I don't want to have to deal with this, you know, like, I, I feel like you guys can all understand when you're, you just don't want to deal with it. But anyway. I was not, I was not thrilled. It was like, it's always like, it feels like it's always something and it's not his fault. It just feels like it. Cause he has uh, memory problems. And while like, he's perfectly capable of being on his own, he's not great with those like 
d deep thought moments like he's not going to be able to problem solve he's not going to be able to like fix that sort of stuff on his own so it, it does fall to me and it's fine but I was tired so I was like dang it okay so I kind of drug my foot a little bit and I got a plumber out and I got dressed and I headed over and Kevin was with me because he's the real MVP and anyway we get there and I walk in and my dad looks just terrible he just looks so terrible I was like what in the world has happened because I only saw him like a couple days before that and he looked you know he looked like he had had that blood clot in his leg which I don't, I don't know if I told you but he had a blood clot in his leg you know recovering from that and it's kind of a bummer so but he looked absolutely awful and then his leg was super swollen and I was like get in the car like come on it's time to go so Kevin stayed behind because the plumber was still there trying to figure out what was going on with the leak and um I think I'm gonna do I want to use this stained glass washi because I'm feeling like I need like little, like, I'm not going to call it like a good old Catholic moment, but I feel like I need like a little bit of something that's like given church pizzazz or something. So Kevin stayed back with the, what did I do with the sticker? Stayed back with the plumber and then I took my dad to the emergency room and I got there and you know they're asking the questions like what's going on something is wrong and anyway couldn't figure out still don't know what's going on by the way that's where that's why we're still here and we'll probably be through the weekend at the um inside so yeah his leg is really swollen it's, but it, and it was full of something they didn't know what were we looking at like an infection are we looking at, um, was it a hematoma? Was it fluid? But the imaging was not super clear. Um, it was just big and they did end up draining it and it was like 400 cc's, which I had to Google. Um, math is hard and it's like 1.6 something cups. It was a lot in his leg. So, but his white blood cells are still really, really high, like really high. And they got him on an absolute buttload, oh gosh, what did I do? Okay, sorry. Um, of antibiotics. Like, as of today, he's now on his fourth kind of antibiotic with no, nothing's getting better. We had one day his white blood cells went from, I think they say for the, like, the high end of normal is like 11 or 11,000, but they shorten it to 11. Um, and now... He, his is like 23.6 or something but they can't find where this infection is you know it's not it didn't turn out to be in his leg after they drained all the fluid it doesn't seem to be systemic it's not in his bladder it's not it, not kidneys it's not bowel like nobody knows where it is and so um i guess now we have to look for alternate possibilities but i've been going twice a day because they do their they're rounding where the entire care team gets together so pt and ot and i ripped that no nope, i don't feel like dealing with that figure it out um your doctors he's in the surgery wing because they drained it and they you know they may have to do something else to it so just waiting to see what's going on but it's a lot y'all like it's okay to be struggle busting because like with my sister in New Zealand, it's really down to my husband and I, and it is overwhelming. It is overwhelming. And you have the stuff you have to do in your day-to-day -day life. Um, and then you've added this, and my dad's like 45 minutes away from my house. So there and back, and then there and back again, in case he likes when we're there to have dinner with him. Well, not really, he eats dinner, and we're just kind of hanging out. And it's nice, it, that's, it's really nice. And I'm thankful that I get to, do that with him um but it's just it's a lot it's a whole lot there's no rhyme or reason to this by the way I'm just grabbing stickers I don't care if the colors aren't distributed maybe later in a year or two when I look back I'll be like what was I doing but currently at this moment I'm I need sticker therapy but we don't know what it is and it's starting to get a little scary because you know what what could that be you know what what is it if it's not the obvious. So these are, I know, pharmacy mollies, but they're really cute. And I think color-wise, they look nice. And this will be going to see my dad in the hospital and visiting with him. He's been really good. He's been eating all his breakfast, which is a good thing. Because uh, there for a while, he wasn't, but he's lost like 20 pounds in a month and a half or something, or 40 pounds in like a month and a half. And you guys can guess that that's not great news. So I have not been doing any of my habits 
sorry, not sorry. Um, I'm going to do this checklist here because it is Wednesday and I am home right now and I'm going to, I'm making meatloaf tonight. Like I want meatloaf and I want to be left alone while I make it and I don't want to talk to anybody and I want to pick the music that I listen to and I want to, I just want it to be me and I don't want to have to worry about it. So I told Kevin that and he was like, okay, if you're sure. So, and I am. So I'm going to do that. I don't know what's going on the sidebar, if anything, that might end up being left blank. I'm not really sure. Um, but I had to go to Walmart this morning and return some things and pick up some stuff, you know how. And then I I need to do laundry because I'm to that point that I'm like, you know, if you, you what was it like dead to me or something where what they died? No, what was that? It was some show on sci-fi where like the outfit she died in because she was murdered is like her night clothes and that's her forever ghost outfit. I'm to the point that I'm like wearing the panties that should I this become my forever ghost outfit that I will be mortified forever by it. Is there a hole in it or do, do I have them on wrong? I don't know. I, I, I couldn't say. So I put on laundry and we have to, like I said, I want to make the meatloaf because the hospital, I tried their meatloaf because my dad wasn't eating and I was like, well, I want a bite. Well, it was fire. I mean, I don't know why, why it hit the way it hit, but I want meatloaf. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And after we get back from visiting my dad. I didn't go yesterday night because we had a hellacious storm, which it sounds like that's um, hitting everybody a little bit. So I hope you guys were safe and you guys didn't get tornadoes or hail or anything. We just had a um, complete, um, like, oh, no, complete what? Maybe that sentence isn't going to be completed. We just had an insane amount of rain and thunder and the lightning was good. The wind kicked. We kept losing. Oh, this is funny, though. We, we kept losing power and I don't know why we did this oh god I don't know why we did this but when we replaced our overhead uh I can do it please forgive me y'all I'm absolutely exhausted I'm doing that like so tired you sleep but it's like depression exhaustion sleep so mine have been filled with nightmares and that's totally I've been living off coffee it's really cute but Again, oh, Chris, if you're watching this, thank you so much for that Starbucks gift card that I sent from above. I'm still nursing my first one from today. But it was really funny because I don't know why, but we bought these overhead. Do I should I put those down first? Yeah, let's put that. Let's, uh, where did I? Oh, okay. We need to do that. Where did I put my book? Okay, sorry. We bought overhead lamp lamps. No, fans. The fan is... Uh, one with a remote. <laughs> Y'all, I did it. That took 20 minutes. It has a remote. And that, you're like, oh, that sounds nice. No. For some reason, it likes to, when you lose power, it resets and turns the light on. And we're talking, like, on. Um, So, it's, like, 2 in the morning and light goes out. Awesome, nice and dark. Bam, lights come back on. So does the overhead light in my bedroom. So does the overhead light in my living room come on. And that is just the worst way to wake up. I was like, oh my gosh. And Kevin's chuckling because I moved to the couch last night. He came to bed late and that man can snore. And I was like, I need, I need the minutes of sleep I can get. So I'm like, so upset. I was like, oh my gosh, come on. And so I'm getting up and turning the light off and Kevin's laughing because he's got really long arms and he could just reach to turn the bedroom light off. I was like, oh, the struggle bus. But why, oh why did we buy these fans that their, their reset is let's turn the light on as bright as possible and turn the fan as high as possible. I feel like that is a design flaw. We, um, it's funny though, like in hindsight, it's really funny. I remember the first time it happened, um, I was minding my business and I, again, we didn't know because we had just installed them. Minding my business, I'm home alone and the, the light like barely flickered, you know? It wasn't like a full power loss. Like there was no even loss of internet. And sure enough, all the lights come on. I'm like, what in the ghostliness is this? And I called Kevin, I was like, I think our house is haunted. And he's like, no, it's not. And it's not. Or if it is, we have wildly polite ghosts and they're wonderful and they're welcome to stay forever. 
Um, but that scared me. But and we were thinking, oh gosh, we have a short. No, if we had read the reviews on Amazon, that other people were like, why does it do this? But other than that, it's a nice fan. So I guess the one funny thing about the storm yesterday was that, and it's happened before. It's just it's funny. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna. Um, it's like noonish. I need to eat something, but I'm not. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Kevin was so sweet. He bought me cake. I love the um, Italian cream cake. Love it. And he bought me Port Salute, which is my favorite cheese. Shout out to my sister's husband. He um, really likes it. And he told us about it. And also shout out to him. His 70th birthday will be in, I think she said two weeks from now. He doesn't watch this and neither does she, but at least we know I said it. Happy birthday, Tom. But he introduced Port Salute and it's fire. It's absolutely one of the best cheeses. So my sweet husband went to the store and uh, came back with, you know, what we actually needed. And then he got me a little treat. I am definitely, um, I'm food motivated. I'm very food motivated. But anyway, that's good. It's just uh, seeing what's going on with my dad. I'm not looking forward to the prospect of something worse. So I am not going to entertain it. I am just uh, going to wait for them to find the infection, and that will be that. But we'll find out. Hopefully Friday we'll know something, but Monday more than likely. And then we'll go from there. So I don't know, but I need a break, y'all. I am uh, I'm, uh, beat up. I am, I am beat up. Oh, gosh. Eh, got it. Here we go. We'll be able to fill some of this in slowly with um, probably using the wrong words because I definitely have lost my mental ability to be clever and funny. Because boy howdy. If you have an open order with me, um, I'm hoping to get a break from some things and get them out in a day or two. No promises, but I'm going to do my darndest. Alright. There we go. There we go. Just above that for me. Above that for me. And okay, I'm not gonna de-stash this because I never use the big ones. They're really cute though. Hopefully, hopefully not though. I would say hopefully Sarah will get a use out of them, but I don't really need, want her to have to go to uh, the pharmacy for anything. Okay, so I need a good, this is a, this feels like, is it spectacle, that really like dry paper, and it always kills my pen, so I'm going to try this 03 micron, but it may murder it, and then you'll hear me being annoyed by this, but in theory, so visit dad, I'm just going to write visit dad, because I have to write this 200 times, visit dad, well that's cute though, like if it, wasn't so cute. It would be kind of a bummer to write, but it is pretty cute. I left him to take a nap. Is it? Dad. Okay. And then I'm going to put laundry because I need to wash panties. So should I die, I will have more attractive ghost panties. I'm going to do my meatloaf. I'm very excited about that. And then I had to go to Walmart this morning. And then I'm going to go visit my dad this evening, but I don't really want to write that in because I'm tired. Maybe I'll go make myself a sticker because I'm already tired of writing all this. Visit dad. Visit. You know, I might put in the sidebar, like, his white blood cell count or something because I have a notepad full of, or a notebook full of that. Or I've been taking pictures of him. So, fun fact, that man, um, because it's his left thigh up high with swelling and all this stuff, he is only comfortable on his back because his leg hurts. Yeah, totally makes sense. He sleeps like a pharaoh, y'all. Mouth open, like, oh my god, I've been writing visit dad and then visit day. Oh, I'm leaving it. This needs to, this is the real thing about being, like, tired in, in your planner. So, um, he sleeps like a pharaoh. Like, he looks like you've just opened his tomb after thousands of years and he's just waiting for you. And Sarah, God bless her. She she got into like paint or illustrate or something and like drew him with like a pharaoh mask on and it was absolutely hysterical. So maybe I'll put that in the sidebar. So I'm 
some small blessing, but he's doing good, y'all. He's positive. He's happy. Um, they've got him some pain meds. And then somebody I went to nursing school with is his nurse. And she, uh, she won't watch this, but if by some miracle she does, she's an incredible nurse. Absolute 10 of 10. This was amazing for her. Um, she's great at it. I'm so, 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 so impressed. Um, and then I'll see tomorrow. What? Oh yeah, tomorrow I have to have a to-do list. I think my mom's coming to see my dad tomorrow, so I have to pack some stuff. Friday, I'm gonna try to not have a to-do list. I'm gonna try to take a nap. And then Saturday, and Kevin has to go out of town. Um, so Saturday and Sunday, oh, I don't wanna use this color. I guess I'll use black. Um, Saturday and Sunday, he'll be gone, and which is good, because if he's gotta go out of town, this is the perfect time to do it, because I don't really, there's nothing to be done. Just go visit my dad and hang out with him. So I'm going to try to get my house cleaned up a little bit. I need to clean out my fridge. I had to cancel my date with Sarah because I just couldn't do it. Like, all right. Oh, gosh. Don't look too close. This thing looks tore up. Y'all, I'm sorry, but I just, I just don't have it in me to be upbeat. I am um, so tired. So tired. Okay, let's see. His desk is Everything is a mess. I'm a mess. My nails are blue matte, which is kind of cool, but I'm not really vibing with them, but I don't really, I don't really feel like changing them either. So anyway, this is really cute. Little Red Prince, if by some miracle you watch this, I'm sorry my hype level wasn't great, but this kid is adorable. 10 of 10, if it's still available, you guys need it. It's really, really cute. And it's still kind of dark and moody where I feel like mentally here in this color scheme, but also some brought pops of color because I'm trying to find joy in this as best I can and you know like the small things and something nice that happened or something I'm thankful for or something like that so this is I think perfect the other kid I was going to use was like oh it's right here um it's pretty right it's really pretty because the eclipse happened I was going to put that in but I just remembered but it, there wasn't a lot and I just didn't want to pull anything so I will put this on for the eclipse because that was pretty rad and it was about midday i'm kind of treating this like an hourly as best i can but kind of not um because that was pretty rad anyway thank you so much for dropping by love if you gave this video a thumbs up if you decided to come join the anybody for crow family that'd be incredible hit the subscribe button good luck if you guys are struggle busting just know you're not alone we got this we'll get through it and um i'm gonna go eat some cheese